Hello there. Happy Monday. Happy Easter Monday here from um, Medicine Hat, Alberta. Um, uh, today is, like it says in the title, Motivation Monday. And I'm just going to put this on here now. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Running along the bottom there is our little time for motivation. Time for motivation. So I'm just going to go over a few things that I've been running through my head today. <clears throat> Still not feeling the greatest. Uh, coughing quite a bit again today, so I don't know what the heck's going on with that. My name is well, on this side. Good grief. My name is Heather Edmondson, and I'm coming at you live here this afternoon at a different time. I'm trying this time out to see if um, more people can um, be visible and more people can get to know me and see me. So um, live here this afternoon from. Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. The sun has finally decided to shine. It's been snowing off and on um, pretty much all weekend uh, for Easter weekend. Uh, how are you guys all making out? How are all my fans and followers making out today? Um, how was your Easter? Was it different? Totally different here for us, not being around anybody. Um, isolated from everyone. You're used to having a big family gathering at um, most special occasions, most holiday occasions, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, etc., birthdays. It um, kind of plays a mental game on you. It kind of throws you in a different, a different light, and and makes you makes you uh, appreciate that um, that we're healthy right now, and and we're safe by staying home and not surrounding ourselves with that. But it's pretty hard not seeing them, the little ones going get their Easter egg, Easter eggs, and uh, we just had to do it by watching them um, through a recording, that kind of stuff. Uh, we did color Easter eggs with our family on a Zoom call with family from out of town and family in town and stuff. So that was a different experience. Um, why has it taken something like uh, this COVID thing to to make us all stay connected with friends and, and family that uh, maybe aren't close to us in, in the same community, but they're out of town? And, and why has it taken something like this to, to get us all spurred on to reach out to those friends and family? We had a big uh, chat with family that's uh, one province over. We had a couple chats with some friends that are in Calgary. And uh, yeah, why haven't we been doing this for a while? So what have you got going on for uh, motivation right now to, to stay busy and to stay connected with your family and friends over, over all, all of this? And like I said, hopefully this will resolve itself and we will be able to get back to some kind of normal. Um, we all need to um, maybe try and set up a, a routine of um, setting up that alarm clock to get up and maybe have a daily method of what you're going to do. Uh, it's called uh, daily method of operation, what you're going to plan to do one thing in the day, even if it's just to get up and shower and wash your hair and change out of your pajamas and into some it could be another pair of pajamas or it could be a pair of sweatpants. It doesn't have to be jeans because I know all of us are um, eating a little bit differently. Um, maybe step on that scale to give yourself a reality check and, and maybe get back on track with uh, trying to eat those fresh veggies and stuff. I know if you're not going out and, and actually getting to the grocery stores or, or, or our greenhouses here in town to get some of those fresh things, uh, you might have to be eating in a different pattern anyway. But just try and be aware of every time you walk by the fridge, don't open it and grab something just because you're bored. Um, hello, Beth. Thank you for jumping on. Awesome to see you, girl. There she is. Hey, Beth. Um, Beth had something different happen in her life. Um, she got to perform a wedding outside and, and um, marry a couple that were just with the, the two of them and hello Lori thank you for jumping in here she got to marry a couple out in uh, in the country out in BC and and uh, they all stood uh, apart and they were still able to perf perform she was still able to perform the wedding so that was nice to see some hope in our lives that that these this young couple was able to um, move on with their lives together and uh, in a healthy way and still stay stay connected and, and then actually have their ceremony performed in, in just a different manner than uh, maybe what they had thought it was going to be in the first place. Uh, what else do I have here? Let's remember that we have to um, stay hydrated, especially to try and beat some of this um, sickness out, away, um, keeping yourself hydrated, keeping your throat moist. Um, we've been drinking tons of tea. Um, they say tea is not going to prevent you from from getting any of this, but um, we're trying not to go out at all, hardly at all. 
Um, I haven't been out into a store since the middle of, of March. Myself, my husband's been the one that's been going in and grabbing us groceries and supplies and that kind of stuff and actually taking stuff to his elderly mother out in the community so that she's not out grabbing stuff. Um, but it's hard to get through these seniors' heads that this is, is quite a thing um, and it's important that you're not supposed to be engaging with with people. Um, they're still trying to have coffee time in their community, in their condo that they're in, and they're still trying to get together and um, play shuffleboard and that kind of stuff. And she just doesn't seem to be getting the importance of how, how sick um, she could be or she could get from, from them touching something or them going out and touching something. And it just doesn't seem to be registering with a lot of these seniors. My mom's in the same boat, but she's not in the same community as us. So um, she's going to be 88 this year. And, and they just don't, don't seem to be registering how um, important this is. So I've been trying to spread uh, information to her about what she can do and what she can um, try and take to, to straight, to stay healthy and to stay um out of the way of getting this this infection, this this um, virus, um, she says, "Oh, I got some I got some paper masks that you gave to me when when your dad was still alive or whatever." And I said, "Yeah, but you can only use them one time, and then you have to throw them out." And she's like, "What? What do you mean?" So, if you have somebody in your family that can uh, sew and make some masks um, that are made out of cloth that you can wash and reuse, uh, that's the best bet. You could use them the one time that you are going out in the community to either do banking or to grab some groceries or whatever it is that you need. And then when you come home, you can actually um, remove your clothes and shower and throw that mask into the wash machine and wash it along with your clothes and then reuse it. So that's um, kind of a plus thing to do. Um, I know a lot of us are on edge and we need to communicate with our family members, the ones that you're maybe trapped in the house with, or um, a lot of you have young kids that are running around or grandkids that are running around uh, in your same um, four walls. So try not to snap at each other, try to um, communicate and tell them, okay, this is making me crazy. Can you please pick up your stuff or can you please make some time for me um, and kind of set some boundaries, some, some guidelines, um, try and eat better, try and get outside, even if just for a sniff of a fresh air, even if you uh, just have a, a patio or a deck on your, your up, up, uh, house or your home, um, if you have a yard, get out in the yard. Maybe you don't have to necessarily go walking around in public, but at least get outside and get some fresh air every day. Drink. Your water, like I said, um, eight ounces every couple of hours. Um, that includes your includes your tea. And yes, yes, Beth, it's it's hard. It's different, and it, and especially when we're used to being together. Yeah, it it is. It's it's kind of frustrating almost. I I got up this morning and I didn't really feel myself. I knew I had to. Um, I had a whole list of things to do that I had planned to do. And my head wasn't in the game. I had to take a few minutes and take a breath and, and put my head down and, and get, get to the things that I had to get done. So I'm going to go through my boxes of material that I have. And, and I found online um, a pattern for these masks. I'm going to see if I can make some masks and stuff. And then all of our family can maybe feel a little bit more safe when they go out in the, in the community. Um, maybe still try and get out there for those walks and stuff. And uh, remember guys that if somebody says something about you and you take it the wrong way, or you believe that maybe what they've said is actually true. Remember that's just their impression of you. And um, that's on them. That's what they believe is, is, is what's happening. And that's what they believe you, you are or whatever. And, and that, that isn't maybe what, what is, it's not the truth. It couldn't be the truth. So get out of your head. Um, don't let those people bring you down. Try and maybe change your scenery by taking a drive in the country. Um, that's, an, that's an idea. But you'd still be away from all these people. Um, and maybe grab a book and, and read something that you've, you've um, maybe forgotten about or it's been sitting on the shelf and you need to revisit it and expand your mind. and. Um, we're all in this together, guys. Let's stay in contact and reach out and, and have those Zoom chats or messenger chats or whatever it is for your family that works for them and your friends and have a drink with them or a cup of a tea, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a meal together. 
oh my goodness, we tried to do a meal together with my mother-in-law on um, on Skype. She does know how to do Skype. So we said, okay, we set it all up and we did it at, okay, we'll phone you at 5.30 and get her on Skype and then we'll sit down and eat together. So um, we phoned her and she's sitting there looking at us and we're bringing our plates over and we're starting to eat. And she's, and my husband says to his mom, mom, where's your supper? And she goes, well, I don't eat till 5.30. And he goes, well, it's 5.30 right now. She goes, okay, goodbye. I'm going to go and eat. <laughs> so it like has no idea the concept of, of, uh, having a meal together on a, on a, on a, on a virtual chat. So that's, that's how it is. Oh, hello, Gloria. Thank you, dear, for jumping on. I appreciate your support and you'll have to go back and listen to it all again, because I'm just about ready here to jump off. So thanks everyone for popping on and supporting me. And I will uh, catch you on Wednesday with wicked wacky Wednesday. Um, yeah. Thanks guys. Bye-bye for now.